Hi, I'm Matthias Krizek and uh, I'm the lead developer of Kunena. Actually, I've started it with a few other guys and uh, well, I'm not going to talk from myself today. I'm talking about Kunena. Can you push the button? Uh, so, I'm starting with uh, what's Kunena? Uh, so everyone, or I don't know, everyone doesn't know Kunena, but many people do, uh, at least in Joomla world. Uh, Kunena is uh, the preform component from Ju for Joomla. Uh, it's native for Joomla 1.5 and forward, and uh, we are going to support every, every version after that. Uh, we have had uh, four major releases for now, and uh, uh, we have very active <coughs> development team, we have a very active uh, community, and uh, we have good support for people. Uh, we have bug fix releases uh, quite often, and uh, so on. Uh, Kunena is more than just that. Uh, like I said, just a few minutes ago, uh, we are a community-based project. So basically, uh, ma many things we are doing is uh, kind of requiring the community behind us. So uh, people who, who feel the same, who want to contribute, they help us make this project. Uh, we have uh, many, many translations for many, many different languages, uh, depending on how you count. If you need 100% uh, 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 translation, we have about 20 languages. Uh, most of the major languages in, in, in the world. Uh, we, totally, if you count over 90% of the translations are done, then it's uh, more like 30. Uh, we have many, many downloads. Uh, we have many, many sites using Kunena. It's not as many as Joomla, but uh, we are getting there sooner or later. Uh, we have many add-ons also for third party. Uh, it's getting easier to make uh, add-ons to Kunena when we go to 2.0. And uh, we have uh, made import uh, to ma major forms. Uh, it's actually working pretty well. So, uh, how did Kunena became of being? Uh, well, I first uh, learned of, of Joomla because I wanted to, ma to make my site to work. Uh, it was using page to, uh, platform with, which doesn't exist actually anymore. And I needed to change it into something else. So I picked Joomla because of it has had a fireboard and uh, very it didn't take much time before I learned that uh, <laughs> there wasn't anything going on in the project it was dead so my own needs were not met I needed to act I had used uh, six uh, months of my time for it I, I, I had fixed a lot of bugs Nobody was taking them into the project and uh, releasing for other people to use. So uh, I had actually two options. There to scratch it all, uh, to go to something else, or I could start a project of my own. So I, I just uh, no, sent a note, I will fork this if nothing happens. So uh, the Kunena 1.0 was created. Uh, we were surprised of the, uh, how many people wanted to actually to use it. So uh, there were so many bug fix uh, bugs which needed to fix. So the first obje objective for Kunena was to make it to work. People had uh, many, many, many people, hundreds of thousands of uh, sites had a forum software which didn't work. So, of course, the first thing you need to do is to fix it. So, uh, then when it started or uh, where was working already, people were of course asking when will, when will you support Joomla 1.5 <coughs> natively. So, of course, we broadened it up build and uh, made it to work with Joomla 1.5. 
It was largely based on the old code. Then uh, third ob objective, uh, it became obvious that uh, the code was bad and didn't work anymore. It was hacked uh, five years so in time and nobody had actually that done any re uh, redesign into it. So we needed to make it to work for us because of fixing one bug and introducing two. No, it's not going to work. So we needed to make it to work. Okay, next slide. Then uh, the new vision, actually it's not new vision, it's, it was the vision from the first day. We just couldn't make it uh, because we had some other things we needed to fix first or make to work. So we want Kunena to be the communication platform in Joomla, within all Joomla. So you can use Kunena uh, in your own uh, components, you can, uh, if you need a commenting system, just use Kunena. It's a few lines of code in 2.0, so no big deal. Much of, uh, a lot of time saved. Uh, and uh, the major objectives while doing this is to make uh, or provide a way forward for our existing users. They are the most important for us. We need the user, we need the community. Uh, this means many things. One, one is that you can just uh, use one click and it upgrades. Uh, the second thing is to make it work just as well as a, a VMF or a, a PHP 3, 3 or some other major players in the field. So we need to make it fast. Uh, we need to make it Joomla. So everything in Joomla uh, can use our form or our software as a base in their own projects. So it's just not a forum anymore, uh, at least we hope that people will start using it elsewhere also. Uh, this is uh, just a picture of the current version of, of Kunena, uh, which is coming soon, I hope. Next slide. Uh, so uh, next thing I'm going to speak from, I'm not go going to speak from uh, Kunena 2.0. Uh, if you want to know more, go to our forums and ask. Uh, you probably won't get many answers. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I would like to talk about how did we do it? How did we became so popular? And uh, there are major uh, things which we did right. Of course, we failed to do a lot of things in the way, mostly because of we, are, we were just too busy. Uh, but uh, this is what, what I learned. I'm going to open this in a bit time. So uh, the first lesson is be open, collaborate with people. Make it as open as possible because of uh, openness gives you the community and users. So use GPL. It gives you the visibility in check because they are not allowing uh, other, any other thing, uh, licenses than GPL. Uh, use GitHub. Uh, Ryan already provided us some information from it and it's, it's great. It's, it really changed how you do things with uh, each other. You can just fork it and uh, give it back. And uh, you don't need to discuss a uh, month of the details. It's so easy. Uh, Transifex, it's actually a good, good way to translate things. Uh, in Joomla, uh, it's, it still has some bugs in it, uh, but it's already used in large uh, communities like our software like Fedora and others. So uh, I think it's a very easy way to translate things. Uh, then we have our forum. Allow people to help themselves. Uh, if someone has a question, it's very prob probable that someone has already uh, had the same issue and solved it. So uh, we allow people to help themselves. 
and we did well. That's the red where we are a bit lacking, but it allows us to find the information. Next thing, be known. Let the people know that you exist. At use the, all the means you have. So, uh, and also gain reputation, a good rep reputation, because it's the key. If people know that your product is good and you can use it easily, you don't have any problems with it, they tell other people. Uh, the ways to uh, do that is to be responsive to your users' needs. It's, if someone has an issue which is related to your product, you need to answer it, because otherwise uh, they just move on. They, they use maybe half a day, day, and then they are gone. Uh, use media. Uh, in, uh, uh, what we have mostly done, we have very, very positive chat reviews. Uh, we, actually, you cannot say uh, to people that you need to uh, give a review, but uh, if you help someone, you can send a private message. Could you please, uh, if you want to, uh, give some uh, or tell something which you have learned from us, or some just tell some things to people who are going wanting to use something and trying to find a solution. Uh, then the quality, it's very important. You just uh, if you just have more features, more features, more features. Uh, your people are uh, first, at first people are very happy to have everything, but uh, most people don't need everything, and uh, it doesn't matter that your site has every little feature if it doesn't work, because nobody can use it if it doesn't work. Uh, and the last thing is that make connections. Uh, May, uh, do it together with others. Try to make partners. Uh, try to make connections with uh, different people. So, uh, what I'm going, uh, I'm trying to say is that reach out to other projects. Try to do things together, not just by yourself alone. Uh, building your community. It's very important if you are in open source world because of you just don't have time to do everything. So what, how to gain it or reach it? Uh, what we have done is uh, if someone is very active in our forums, we re reward them. We give them some position. Do you want to join us? If you want to join us, you. You don't have any obligation, actually. You just do what, uh, whatever you were doing before, yesterday, week up, uh, before that. Just continue doing what you are doing, but you are part of us. You get some information that others cannot get. And we are helping you to help yourself, and we are helping you to help others. Uh, if you have very talented people, you need to bring them into your project. You need to uh, make them uh, uh, part of your project, if possible, in some ways. It doesn't mean that uh, they, uh, they need to go in your project. They can be your competitor uh, or doing some other software. But you, you need to bind them to your project. Uh, then, uh, I've al already said it a few times, if some Someone who is new in our form or somewhere else just games and uh, and uh, he wants to help or he becomes helpful. Help, help him to do that. Make it easier. You just uh, you don't need to use so much time actually to make people to enjoy what they are doing in your project. So uh, the result is uh, that you have self-helping and active community. Everyone who is in your community is doing it for, for fun. They are, or they are, have some uh, hidden uh, interests they want to fulfill, but uh, at the same time, they are part of your project. 
Then, uh, what we didn't do in, in time, because we, we were so busy in everything else, because we were having too many support re requests and everything else, we didn't have any organization. Uh, what you need to have, someone needs to lead it. You need a leader, someone who to follow. It doesn't mean that the, the leader is one person. But without leading, uh, everyone is just doing every, anything they want to do by themselves. Oh, okay, they are actually they are doing the same anyway. Uh, but you need to keep it together so that you can actually release some time. Otherwise, it just floats and floats, and you never get the new release out. Uh, you need technical guy who understands the, the technology. Uh, you need journal skills. Someone needs to tell a good story. People usually don't uh, join into anything uh, because of they just uh, oh this looks good because it's technically superior or something. They need to hear the story behind it. They need to hear that uh, there is some uh, some greater plan behind it. And uh, you need someone to tell that to people. Uh, you need design good, uh, skills because of when uh, people enter into your site, they are actually they are seeing something. And in second, they make a, make, make, make a decision whether to stay in the site or go so somewhere else. So you need someone to attract new people. You need also marketing skills. Someone needs to sell it to people. Uh, I'd say turn users into addicts. You need to make them addicts. They just cannot get enough from it, so they will quit their job and uh, start doing it free, uh, using all the free time, all the time they have for your project. That's good. No, it's not. It's not good, but. Uh, it works pretty well if you do it in the right way. Anyway, but you don't, uh, you cannot do this alone. You need people around you. Uh, even if you are skilled in every every point in the year, you don't have the time to do it. You probably can do one thing at one time, and uh, then the project dies because of uh, you just uh, cannot uh, help users or you cannot uh, uh, develop it further because you don't have time from users or something else. So um, many projects in GID, for example, they die. Why they die? They die because it's just one person who don't want to work with anyone else. He just wants to do it everything by himself. That doesn't work. At least it doesn't work in open source, and I don't think it's going to work in any, <coughs> anywhere else either. Well, shit happens. Uh, sometimes you have these uh, just crazy people who are coming to your forum and asking a question. It, it might be quite simple question. How do I make this uh, one button to, look, button to look different in my site? Okay, here's what, how you do it. Okay, well, how can I make this? Uh, I don't know how to say it, but I, I like to make a coffee machine to make coffee to myself. There's some limit. You, you, uh, some people just uh, come and uh, uh, are asking for help and they even don't know it by themselves. They are just uh, using everyone's time for nothing. Uh, so you need to deal with them. Usually the right way is to ban them after the second question. Just uh, warn them you cannot ask this uh, anymore. And uh, if, it, if he doesn't go away, ban him. It's cruel, but it's the bird. Uh, if you have, uh, in some point, you also have internal co conflicts in your project. For example, we had uh, one person who was moderating, 
And, uh, uh, well, uh, she was asking more and more uh, help from us. We just gave him, uh, you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, but she came back and asked uh, answer for every question. Uh, at some point, of course, we were using a lot of time for her already. We just uh, hadn't, didn't have time to do it. Then uh, she went and uh, called everyone in the project. Used uh, three hours for everyone's time. At, uh, and the same question, same thing. We had to kick it up or kick her out at some point. So if someone becomes obstacle to your project, uh, it's taking more resources than it gives. Uh, there is no point and you you don't you you cannot be nice at that point. You just need to say either way uh, you have two options, either you uh, stop doing that or you are out. Even if that uh, person was the greatest person. And uh, actually in this case we took the worst troublemaker in, in our forum and made, made him a moderator and it went very well. <laughs> He's the best guy I've, I've never seen in support. Maybe a bit too many words sometimes but it works. So, uh, there are some issues in open source also, uh, which you need to deal with. Because of nobody is doing anything for money. They have their own lives, they have their own free time, own work. Uh, they usually do it because they want to do and they tend to do whatever they want to do. So if you ask them to do something, they do something else. Uh, actually, you don't ask anyone to do anything because it doesn't work usually. You just uh, give some options. Here are some tasks. You can do them. Or, well, many times people are just doing something on their own. So it's, uh, it's kind of hard to organize uh, something that people do for free time. They do whatever they want to do. Well, they, have, they may have uh, eight hours for day or one hour per week. Well, that's the life. You need to live with it. And they often promi promise more than they can deliver. Uh, they say, okay, I have this next week. Two months have gone. Nothing has happened. So uh, it's a bit different from uh, uh, running a company. Because if you run a company, you pay people to do things which you want to do. Here, there is no motivation in money. So people usually do what they want to do, like I said before. And then people come and go. So someone can be very active one week, and next week he can be gone for a few months. <coughs> Nothing happens. Nothing, you, 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 don't, you just don't hear from him anymore. Then he comes back, and he can be a very active member. So it's a bit different from corporations where you work. Okay, next. So why people participate? Well, they have their own needs. In most cases, uh, pe people who are uh, part of go going to participate in our project, they have their own forum to run. So they, they need a forum, and then they just uh, become more useful resource in our project. Uh, they are having fun. This is the most important thing. Everyone has fun time, or should have fun time in free software, because nobody is doing it. If, if you ask someone to do something, he goes away. If it's not fun. Uh, well, people start to believe into the pro in the project, and they are, in some point, some people might even worship the leader. It's worse if, uh, if you have some Indian guys, because they kind of go down and, well, it's interesting. 
different cultures are different. Uh, you just, <laughs> I don't understand them. Uh, but uh, people participate because they uh, actually gain something from it. Well, <laughs> here's some, uh, well, part of our team. Uh, here are two team members, can you rise up? So, there is Yenik, and uh, then there is Sami. Go on, we are running out of time. Well, then the money thing. Uh, well, there is no room for sentiment in life. If you do something that doesn't make money, sorry, you are out of luck. You can go and die somewhere. Uh, also, your efforts are valuable. So, uh, you need to value your efforts. You need to give them some price also, you need to leave. Uh, well, like I said before, we need schedules. If there are no money, the release can be next week or next year. You don't know because you don't know what the resources are. Uh, you need support that people can rely on. And your project needs to grow. I'm not going to say that aloud.